Hello again everyone, this is Carl from c from Gaming here, and you know I'm uploading these next unboxings out of order, because the one after this I recorded last week. Today I'm going to, well, unbox something I got in the mail for a game that came out today from Amazon. People who know until Switch release dates already know what this is, so I'm just going to open it up and save you time. Ta -da! It's the Fire Emblem Warriors Special Edition with a box damage. This box is damaged! This is a wound collector's item! I'm mad at Amazon! I'm gonna get a refund! Even though the game's fine, it works well, so shut up. Well, to be honest, it's kind of... The bubble made of those... Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with this, though. I don't know why it got crushed. Well, not crushed. Uh, weird? It looks a bit weird. As long as the stuff inside is okay, that's all I care about. I'm not picky. I know some people really get messed up about this, but I don't care too much as long as it doesn't look weird. But this does look a bit off, this little crinkle. I will say that. But that includes the game, card set, Poster and a CD set, which is the reason I got the collector's edition, even though I didn't really have enough money for it last month, but, well, you know, I got lucky enough. Oh, and there's a sticker on top, of course. My number one enemy. So let's just get that off quick. I'll just tilt the camera down as you can, so you can see me get the sticker off. These stickers aren't as easy as some other stickers I've dealt with. It, these stickers aren't as evil, as I meant to say, as other stickers I dealt with, so I'll just gotta look at it. There we go, got it off. Now we just open this up. Is everything inside okay? Yep, the poster looks perfectly fine. I'll show you the stuff now. I can unfold it all, but yeah, the poster looks perfectly fine. Shows all the characters in the original games, from Fire Emblem GBA to the abysmal Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon for the DS, Fire Emblem Awakening, okay, the okay Fire Emblem Fates, and Fire Emblem Echoes, which is the best in the series, but of course they barely put anyone from that game in this, in this game, because what the heck, Fire Emblem Fates, that game did well for some reason, even though hate groups went all over, for, hated it. Fire Emblem Warriors art card set, I think I'll open this up in a bit. Or oh, is this a CD? Because this is a nice... Oh wait, no, I see. It's a CD section right here. I'll open these up in a short bit. The next up is the Nifty Nifty game. Not for resale. Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah, not for resale. Let's see what's inside. I don't think there's much inside the actual Switch box because, well, you know, Switch boxes are lame, but hey. Maybe this one has a nice reversible cover art or a... Nah, manual. I... No way there'll, there'll be a manual in this game, but something nifty, I hope. Just gotta snap that open. There we go, Fire Warriors. See the spinding. And inside. In lots of wasted plastic. This is all you need. I say this before and I'll say this again. There's no need for all this empty space. No need for all this empty space. That's a waste of time. Though it is a nice little map, but they could have put something in it, I swear. Or at least make it a reversible cover art. Oh well. Got the game card out. Now let's look at the goodies. The CDs, which is why I bought this in the first place. Let's open those up. Should be easier because it feels like it's shrink wrapped. So I just gotta move it around to store it. Let's tilt the camera down again. Move it around to store it. And then it should just tear right open. Tear right up. Ta da! One C, three, one, two, three. No, they are not facing. So let me fix that quick. And 
And there we go, nice looking CDs. What songs are on it, does it say? No, it does not say what songs are on it. That's actually kind of surprising. I'll have to pop them into my CD player on my Mac and find out for myself, I guess. Hopefully they're good arrangements. And now the art cards are in this nice little box. For a second I thought this was a steel bug, but it's a shamefully not. Just gotta open this up quick. Kind of surprised this is getting a special edition Mario Odyssey is not. That seems weird to me. Just weird. This game's more niche and kind of... Well, okay from right here, but I did enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends on the 3DS, which is surprising, because even though I didn't want to buy Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U, I got a review copy for Hyrule Warriors Legends on the 3DS years ago, and I actually did enjoy that game. I probably would have bought it myself if I didn't get a review copy, because it really was a good port. On the new 3DS, at least. On the old 3DS, it ran like ass, which is why the 3DS version is new, ex exclusive to the new models, because they knew what was going on. Nowadays, I'm a bit more strict about, like, frame rates and stuff, but the Switch, even though I don't like the OS at all, which, now that I think about it, it's been a year since it was announced, kind of disappointing, but at least we got good games like this. So, I'm still happy with the games. Oh, why we got that done? Look at the side, the back, the front. Slip it out, and more shrink wrap. But you can see one Anna. Art cards, I just will keep these in the thingy because I'm not going to look at all of them. It will take too much time with the video and I just like stuff in the box. Some stuff in the box. So yeah, the boxes within the boxes were perfectly fine. Just this outer thingy has this dumb dent in it. And if you look inside, it's hard to see with this camera. You can see it's right here, but this protected it, so it's fine. But if I was a super stingy hardcore collector that doesn't care about fun and hates fun, I would be mad, I guess. So yeah, that'll do it for this unboxing of Fire Emblem Warriors, and well, I thank you for watching. I'm gonna play this game, even though I had Hook in the Switch, and even though Mario Odyssey comes out in a week, maybe I'll enjoy it and switch cards a lot more often. It's been a rough day for me because of the status update I posted on the Seafoam Gaming website, but yeah, thanks for watching and bye.